Hey guys, what's up? It is Saturday and it's kind of the end of the night, but I did record for you today. It is so hot. Oh my god. So anyway, um, Greg and I had our normal walk with Digger in the morning. Dig! Digger, wake up! Do you want to go for a walk? I gotta see if we can find Woodchuck Charlie. Yeah, let's go see if we can find where the Chuck is at. He's got the garden yet. And we were looking for a groundhog because apparently Greg saw a groundhog twice in the yard yesterday and we're pretty sure that it's trying to make its home under the shed which is not good and I'm afraid that we're gonna lose everything in the garden and it's gonna tear up the yard so we have to try to figure out what to do with that so if you guys have any tips let me know because help come on let's go see what we can find Let's walk up to the garden. They got a new battery. Let's go see Dad. Oh, my, it's humid. Come on, Dig! Run! So, we also did our morning um, garden check. You gotta at least get the one off the ground. I think the whole thing's probably gone. All the blooms were on it, too. What caused that? The, um... the heavy, heavy rain last night. Mm -hmm. Alright. We can get that pepper later. The sunflowers are looking pretty good. Yeah. We're gonna have to pick some of these red peppers. Yeah, look at that chocolate one back there, isn't it? Yep. Hey, Slowpoke, come here. Where are you, Digger? Come here. While Digger was getting ready to go to the bathroom and do his business before we was gonna leave him for the day. And um, Greg did some picking in the garden, so we got some green peppers and some red hot peppers, and I think some hot green peppers too. So, did that. Oh, and I was looking at the crab apple tree. I think it's a crab apple tree, um, like on our property line. And I'm pretty sure that those crab apple trees that are there kind of grew from the crab apple trees. Um, well, the, the one crab apple tree that we took down last year. Not last year, two years ago when we first moved in here. So, I don't know, but actually, if the crab apple tree is growing, that's actually good for our other trees. Because we're looking at getting a crab apple tree because it's supposed to help pollinate all the other fruit trees that we have. So, I don't know. I'm just really happy that the garden is producing right now. And the only thing that we are having a problem with is the tomatoes. So, tomatoes are like rotting some of them before they're even ripe or you look and it's like oh this is ripe but it's like rotted at the bottom so I'm not quite sure what's happening but we have picked some tomatoes but we've got a lot that I'm just I don't know what's going on with the tomatoes this year All right diggy poo dad and I gotta go help Greg so give me a kiss no kiss you watch the house when we dig Oh, I love you, Poo Poo Bear. I'll see you in a little bit. Can I get a kiss now? Still no. So this afternoon, we met up with Greg's son, and we helped him get some uh, new living room furniture. He ordered it. He just needed help getting it to his house and getting it set up. So we headed um, out to our old area to do that. While we were getting ready to leave, I had to stop at the mailbox because I had to put something in for the mailman. And when I did, I saw this little critter. I'm not sure what it what it is or what it was, but it's digging like little holes. And I'm not too concerned. I'm just curious because I don't really know what it is. I know it's not a groundhog. So, I don't know. Let me know. So, once we got to the other side of town, well, before we even got there, there was a good amount of traffic that we had to fight with. And then once we got to the other side of town, Greg and I decided to kind of drive around a little bit, see what has changed. And it just, it amazes me how much they're like building and, you know, they're adding in townhomes and apartment complexes and communities and, and it's already like it was overly populated anyway and they're just shoving more and more in there. I just, oh, I don't know. And they're, they're adding all these new stores and stuff. I'm just confused. Got hip hop chicken. Man, look how cheap gas is there. 
That's the reason I moved. That is so what were they building back there again? There's supposed to be a Chipotle coming. Oh, I heard they're building the multiple store thing. Oh, are they? New giant. Huh. That's what the big building is. Oh, back so there. what is this gonna be? What? Building something here too. A uh, Chipotle. That's gonna be two that probably looks like two buildings. And once again I apologize to you. I didn't get us out here, so uh -oh. we got construction going over there next. See oh the other container? My god. Space available. So But we did come across one area. There used to be this like big like brick kind of building or concrete building. And they tore the whole building down. But it actually looks good. But now I'm curious. They're going to have to do something with that property. Because of course the county is going to want money. Tax money or something from it. So I don't know. I guess that is to be determined. We'll see what happens. Sale or lease? They tore it all down. They have a better chance of leasing or selling it. With nothing on it. That's crazy. Oh my god. There used to be building there. A really tough building. But it just seems like every time Greg and I go back to that area, we're reminded why we moved. And I'm just like, if we totally made the right choice to move. I just, I can't stand the overpopulation thing. Like it didn't bother me when I was younger. It didn't even bother me when we were there. But once I moved away from it, I'm just like, Ugh, I don't wanna do that again, no. And Greg and I went to the grocery store. There's a grocery store down there that he finds good deals on certain things. And we try to hit the grocery store maybe once or twice a year. We pick up canned goods. Uh, sometimes we get his coffee from there. So that's kind of what we did. We stopped in there, picked up a few items. Then, we went to go meet his son. Now, when we went to go meet his son, he said, I have to hop in the shower, I'll be like two minutes, and I'll be right behind you, I'll meet you at the store. Well, I looked at him, I'm like, well, you're gonna get hot and sweaty anyway, why don't you just get a shower after we go pick up the furniture? He's like, no, I need a shower now. I'm like, great. Hey guys, oh, what's up, good morning, it is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Greg and I are sitting here waiting for his son to show up so we can help him get furniture that him and his girlfriend bought and he's not here so we're just waiting. Right? He was late when he was born too so it's Oh my not god. He's like, I have to go get a shower. I'm like, um, you're gonna get sweaty and dirty getting the furniture, so why don't you just do that afterwards? He's like, no, it's only gonna take me two minutes. We've been sitting here, I think, for like 15, I don't know, when did you post that Facebook thing? 20 minutes ago. We, we've been sitting here for 20 minutes. And I bet you his son hasn't even left the house yet. I bet you. You should send him a text, ask him if he is on his way. I hope you get my burger the way I like it. <sighs> Me too, because I'm hungry. So we go and we're waiting, and we're waiting, and we're seeing people come and go, and everybody's loading up their furniture and getting on with their day, and Greg and I are sitting there waiting for like an hour, waiting, and then he finally shows up, and I'm just like, are you kidding me? Plus I was starving, so it was kind of cranky. Not to mention the fact that I think my period's coming, so I'm like extra like bitchy I'm just I just am so mm, I don't know all right guys <laughs> I think I've rambled enough for now I guess I will leave you and we'll chit chat later 35 minutes into it and he finally arrived right now we're just waiting for the furniture to come out and then we can get everything together and drop it off and then we can head home because we are starving right yeah. Or we could stop at Chipotle on the way home. 
or we could just head home by the airport. Oh, the new one? Yeah. Greg's trying to lift up my green pepper plant because it fell over. Yeah. Go ahead, let it let it go. You hold the bear for me. Huh? You're gonna stake it up. I'm gonna try just not to go get my All right. shed key. The sun is looking crazy out here. I'm having like, I'm so bitchy today. I don't even know why. I just asked Greg. I'm like, do you want a beer or wine with me? Because, like, I just I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm just like, ah. I would divorce me today. Where did we hit the solid ground? Hit a rock. Yes. Bedrock. Twist, twist. You remember that one? Fred Flintstone and them? <laughs> no. In bedrock. You don't remember that song? You have to find the song for it. No. Look at all them blooms. That's what I'm trying to say. I know. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirty. There's twenty-five or thirty. This plant was one that was purchased by itself. This was a was lone it? plant. This was a dollar nineteen. That was a good one. Super a California Super or something like that. Mm -hmm. All right, it's a good one. It's working out to our benefit, that's for sure. Yeah, I've got four off of here already, so. 